to open BX Arc Tuesday on BronxNet. I'm your host, Kevin Aline, and I'd like to invite you to get social with us at BronxNet TV on Instagram and Twitter and BronxNet Community Television on Facebook. A video clip of a horse collapsing in Manhattan due to what many suspect is malnutrition and heat exhaustion has gone viral. Animal rights activists are fighting even harder for the banning of the centuries-old method of transportation in NYC. Before we begin this interview, we want to express that some of the videos and images that will be shown may be disturbing to certain audience members. Please be advised. Joining me to discuss their efforts to ban horse carriages in New York City is political advisor for voters for animal rights, Matthew Dominguez. Matthew, thank you so much for joining me. Well, thank you so much for having me on and thank you so much for, for bringing attention to this this horrific incident that happened uh, on August 10th. Now, can you tell us a little bit more about, you know, your initial thoughts when you saw that this video was actually going viral, you know, of this poor horse that had, you know, collapsed in New York City? Yeah, my, I mean, my initial thoughts were, I think, were the thoughts that the millions of people who have seen this videos, their thoughts were, which is just absolutely horrified. However, as an animal rights and, and animal protection advocate, I wasn't surprised. Um, we know that the carriage horse industry is riddled with abuse. It's, a, it's an industry that is entirely based on the exploitation of these poor horses. And particularly around the summertime, you often see these horses being incredibly stressed and incredibly overworked uh, near the park. And it was only a matter of time before not only was something of this horrific nature happen, but also for it to be documented so well for the public to finally see what's happening. Now, I don't think I thought about it too much prior to this video, but can you explain why are we actually still seeing these carriages, you know, in certain parts of our city? Yeah, it's, you know, oftentimes when people see animals in distress and see animals suffering, oftentimes our minds don't go there. Um, when you go to the zoo or when you see the horse carriages, you see them in a moment, right? You see them for 30 seconds and then you continue walking on. And for us, we often think, oh, well, that's the only time that they're out there. But you don't realize that oftentimes these animals, whether, you know, like I said, the animals in zoos are there for their entire life or in the case of the horse carriages, they're out there for hours and hours and hours, whether it's standing or in incredibly heavy traffic, breathing in smog, um, working in incredibly extreme temperatures. It's absolutely horrific. The issue here, though, is that the vast majority of people in New York City want to ban horse carriages. They don't want to see these animals pulling carts as if it was the 1800s on our streets. But the reason why is because it's legal. Um, the city council has yet to act uh, to pass legislation that would outlaw this incredibly inhumane industry. Um, and the reason for that is because the carriage horse drivers, the very few owners that own all the horses and all the carriages, they are a part of a union that is incredibly powerful. And that union doesn't want to uh, even have discussions around the idea of banning these horse carriages. However, in light of this video and in light of past incidences that have happened in the last couple of years, it's getting to the point where I think they see the writing on the wall. And I will tell you, after speaking to dozens and dozens of council members within the council, there is an appetite to finally do something about this. Now, can you let us know or tell us what you know about the horse that we saw in the video? Yeah, so the horse's name is Ryder. Uh, and one of the things that we are trying to do is get more information about him. Um, the industry is incredibly sealed uh, when it comes to their lips are often sealed when it comes to giving us any information about the horse prior to, during and then after an incident like this. And we're not surprised that unfortunately Ryder has been taken out of New York City. So there's no jurisdiction. There's no way for anyone in in our government to go and check on this poor horse after the incident. They've whisked him away to we don't know where. Um, we have confirmed that they have taken him to a, quote, farm, but we are incredibly concerned at Voters for Animal Rights. And I know that our members and our supporters and many council members are concerned that they're just going to end up sending Ryder to slaughter. Because, again, these horses are uh, essentially um, they're a commodity to them. There's no care. There's no love. There's no compassion. And the horse industry, the carriage horse industry used to argue that they cared about their animals. But I think this video has done more to expose the truth behind the carriage horse industry than any other video that we've had. This poor animal was in distress, according to eyewitnesses, prior to him collapsing. After he collapsed, the driver, not showing any love or any compassion, 
started yanking at Ryder's bridle, started whipping him with the reins and started pushing and kicking him, trying to get him up because he knew that people were videotaping. And then once the once the police got there to try to do something, which was to water Ryder down to try to cool his temperature, he just sat in his carriage with his feet up playing on his phone. This is not love. This is not compassion. This is not caring about them. And so we are we are incredibly concerned what's going to happen to Ryder. We know that Ryder is not getting the proper care uh, and the union and the carriage horse industry is not disclosing any information about where Ryder is at this time. However, I will note many sanctuaries have reached out and offered free completely free lifetime care for Ryder to be relinquished to a sanctuary and the carriage horse industry absolutely refuses to do it. Wow. Now, I want to know, like you, you kind of touched on it a little bit, and I think it's probably what's the most, the most heartbreaking thing about the whole thing is that a lot of people would see Ryder and on, on another day and not know that this animal is being abused or be, being treated so poorly. Um, I think to myself, like, you know, if I saw a horse in New York City, my initial thoughts would be like, oh, my gosh, look, a horse. And I, I don't think a lot of people understand what a lot of these animals go through. Can you just explain, you know, how how these you know carriages can lead to or be used as a form of animal abuse yeah of course and and so i think what's important to note is while this incident is incredibly graphic and incredibly horrific and an absolute incident of animal cruelty um, i mean if you look at rider the photos of riders bo at both before and after, it is quite clear that he's malnourished. Um, it is quite clear that he has scarring and he also has um, uh, abrasions on his his body from um, from all of the straps that are used to pull these to pull the carriages. Um, but it is quite clear though that these animals are distressed. So I was actually raised on a cattle ranch. I've had horses for most of my life. And while animal while horses do enjoy um, having their time with humans, they certainly do not like having a several hundred pound, probably several thousand pound cart tied to them and forced to work in a place like New York City. Um, I personally have hard t a hard time sometime walking down the streets of New York because of the smog, because of the traffic, because of the, the delivery drivers, because of the bicycli bicyclists, because of the noise. Um, and these are these animals are not accustomed to being in this type of atmosphere. Um, for God's sakes, like they're used to having their hooves on dirt and grass. They do not want to be on concrete. Um, and oftentimes what happens is these animals get sores, they get um, they get lame, they have incredibly um, bad joint issues. Uh, the the respiratory system in these horses often get incredibly uh, hurt because of the fact that they are breathing in all of the toxic fumes that are coming out of the, the millions of cars that are driving on the streets of New York every single day. And this is so I think we can all agree that horses in New York City just doesn't make sense. But because it's been around for a long time, and like many things, we get accustomed to the things that we see. And so the horse carriages have been around for nearly 100 years near the park. And I think people are just used to it. But when you talk to people, when you ask them, when you show them these videos and you show them these animals in distress, the answer is unequiv unequivocally, people don't want horses on, on the streets of New York anymore. They just don't belong. Now, I know that there also has been a spokesperson for the Carriage Drivers Union, um, and they told NBC that they actually do have rules to avoid this you know, from happening. Do you think these rules work? Do they even matter? You know, What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, it's really interesting that they're even pointing to there's there some types of rules um, when it comes to the, the protection and the welfare of these horses. There is essentially none. And I can speak to that because of the fact that Voters for Animal Rights and a lot of the people in my organization have been fighting to get welfare regulations on the book to protect them. I mean, when you look at just a couple of years ago, when we were fighting to get this heat index and the, and the temperature that they're allowed to be out lowered down to 89 degrees, who do you think was fighting that? It was the horse carriage industry. There has never been a time since the horse carriage industry has existed in New York City that they have ever, ever supported any type of regulations or any type of laws that would protect these poor horses. In fact, they have spent all of their time and all of their money fighting 
And that's one of the things that's interesting about the tra- the trans workers, the uh, transportation workers union is the fact that they are spending a tremendous amount of their power to help a couple owners of horses while they leave 41,000 other members um, in basically losing all of their bargaining power because they're too busy fighting to protect animal cruelty. It's really, really insane. And I, I personally don't understand why the union would support such animal cruelty. But what I do know is they have fought every attempt on our end to put any type of protections in place for this, these horses. And there are essentially no laws. Um, why do you think that there hasn't been charges uh, against this driver right now is because there's really no laws that apply to uh, these types of industries. Now, I understand that your organization has sent letters asking, you know, for the removal of, you know, certain people owning horses. Can you tell me about that? Yeah. So as soon as we saw this video, it was quite clear that, that they obviously didn't care about the, the welfare or care at all about Ryder. Um, like I said, the video speaks very, very clearly about not only did the owner flog and whip and pull and, and try to do everything he could to get this horse to, to get Ryder to his feet. But then after the, ho- the police showed up, he just kicked up his feet and was on his cell phone. It's quite clear they don't care about Ryder, nor did they care about the other horses in their stables. So uh, you put it nicely. We didn't ask. We demanded. Um, We sent a letter to the speaker of the city council. Um, We sent a letter to uh, the bill sponsor, Robert Holden, um, of the bill that would ban carriage horses. And we sent a letter to the union president um, asking, demanding uh, that the that rider be relinquished to a sanctuary that would care for him for the remainder of his life and provide him the proper care that he deserves. In addition to that, we strongly believe that the carriage horse driver should be banned from ever riding or ever driving a carriage ever again in New York City. Uh, This person has shown absolute um, a disrespect, not only for the animals, but for the city. It's an embarrassment. This video has been seen by tens of millions of people. And this is one of those issues that, that makes our city look bad. And he should never, um, not only should he not be in the union, but he should never be allowed to, uh, to drive another horse. Now, so many people have viewed and shared this video, but what can New Yorkers do to put an end to horse carriages in our city? Yes, thank you. And I, I, I want to say I, wa- I very much appreciate the opportunity to talk about this and, and, and to be able to get this information to your viewers. First and foremost, it's incredibly important for people to take action by going to VFAR. That's V-F-A-R dot org slash horses. Um, There, you'll have an automated system that will send an email to the Speaker of the City Council, uh, Speaker Adams, asking her to ban horse carriages. I also really recommend that people understand uh, that this isn't going to be a short-term fight. Um, This is going to be a long fight to be able to ban, not only ban horse carriages, but to protect animals in this city. And it is incredibly important for people to get involved. And that's where becoming a supporter and a member of Voters for Animal Rights is is really important if you care about animals. If you want to see horses uh, protected, if you want to see other animals protected, you need to get involved by following us on Instagram, on Twitter, so that you can take action when we need you to. But every single person in New York City has a city council member, and that person represents you in the city council where they have the power to do something for Ryder and for the other horses that are abused in the carriage horse industry. And so contact your city council member, find out who that is, and ask them to support Intro 573. It is a bill that would ban horse carriages in New York City. But most importantly, we need the speaker of the city council to take action. She has all the power here. She has the ability to let this bill have a vote in committee. She has the power to let this bill have a vote on the floor. And I know that talking about politics and talking about the in the weeds of legislation, oftentimes people don't understand, but this is how laws are made. When things like this, a video that shows such horrific abuse of an animal is, is, is widely seen across the world, and we have no laws to protect these animals, that is when legislative bodies need to step up and do their, do their job and to protect these innocent beings. It is up to Speaker Adams to do that, and she needs to hear the voice of New York City, which is all of your viewers and anybody watching this. Please take action at vfar.org slash horses. Contact the Speaker of the City Council, Speaker Adams, and contact your city council member and ask them to support the bill to ban horse carriages. And I want to thank you for this time and for giving uh, giving us the ability to, to raise awareness on this incredibly important issue. No problem, Matthew. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. We'll be right back with more Open BXR Tuesday.